congratulations you tuned into the right video at the right time i'm going to be teaching you how to edit your own videos through my tutorials on CapCut, based off of your comments on my comment section aren't you excited <laughs> Hey friends, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Queen Karen, your one and only editing queen who makes editing as simple as possible. If you're new to my channel, welcome you tune in just in time. And if you're an old subscriber, thank you for always coming back. I appreciate you very much. I have something very exciting. So for the month of August, I'm going to be looking through my comment section and picking out your questions on how to up your editing game. And I'm going to be teaching you what you asked me to teach you for example i have some screenshots of some comments from my previous videos on how to edit for example this person said nice tutorial ma'am what if you want to increase the video at the middle of the video or at the section of the video instead of increasing the video speed entirely i'm going to be teaching you that in this video i'm also going to be teaching you another one which says no matter how i edit my videos but when I upload it on YouTube, the quality becomes horrible. How do I do it? I film with an iPhone 13. I film with an iPhone 13 Pro there. I'm going to show you how to do this. Sharpen your videos using CapCut. Or basically even your iPhone or your Samsung, whichever phone. The next comment is, how do I flash words, emojis, or images on your video as you speak? For example, in this video, when you were telling viewers to like, share, you flash like share buttons on the video. How did you do that, please? I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. <laughs> and the next comment is, if I may ask a question, can I add speeds to a certain part of the video and the rest of the video go slow? Is it possible? Of course it's possible. And I'm going to be showing you in this video. Yep. And this is how you're going to also drop your comments that you have or any troubles that you have in while editing and i'm going to answer your questions in my next video so don't be shy leave a comment and also in the description i'm going to be dropping a link to my group chat where i teach people how to edit i'm going to be dropping tips and the latest videos go on there so make sure you click on the description box click on the link join the group and i'll see you guys there let's go straight into editing if you want to increase a certain part of your video to be faster than the others, this is how you do it on CapCut. So I'm going to be using this one of my videos, fashion videos. So I'm just going to cut out the part I don't want. You don't want to cut out the part. Split, delete. Yeah. So this is how the video looks. This is me basically walking into the video. So I'm going to show you two different ways of speeding up a particular part of your video. So for example, when I entered into I want to enter fast and this part, I will just stop here and the video will start going slow again. So what I'm going to do is click on the video, click on speed, curve. You see this part? Click on it. Now, you can see there are different kinds. You can customize it. Let's customize. But this is, let's customize it instead. Click on customize. Click on it. So, notice that when you pull this down, you're trying to say the beginning part should be slow. Like I said, very slow. If you pull it up, it's going to be very fast. Can you see? And then it went back to the normal speed. Can you see? That's for the curve. You can use any of the curves. And either way, you can reset. Let's use this for example. Slow. And it became fast, fast, and normal. Did you see that? This one is coming slow, fast, 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 slow. This is how the curves looks. You can open it to see it. But then if you want to, let's remove this. If you want just a particular part to be fast, what you would do is, which part do you want to be fast? Now, let's say we want this beginning part to be fast. So we're going to click where? Here. Hit split. So since we want our walk in to be fast, we're going to click on the first click that we have split from the others. Click on speed. This is normal. Click on it. Increase the speed. As you can see, it has reduced. So it's going to be fast and slow. You can make it faster. Did you see that? That was a super speed. <laughs> Let's reduce it a little bit. Make it visible that we walked in and slow down. Yeah, that's how to increase a particular part of the video. Let's say, okay, let's do another part of the video again. Let's say we want this part that I'm turning around to be faster again. We're going to click it from the part we want it to start from. Hit split. We want it to start from here. And end here. Hit split again. Select that particular part that you want it to be fast. Hit speed. Normal. Increase the speed. 
and then we'll start again. Let's start making where we increase the speed. Speed, no more. It's no more, no more right now. Then the next part, speed, no more again. Did you see that? That is how you can increase a particular part to be faster than other parts of the video. Let's make this dance part fast. What are we going to do? We're going to start. Where do you want it to start from here or here? It clicks speed. Where do you want split? Where do you want it to end? Here, hit split and fast. Increase. Maximum. That is how to do it. As easy as that. I'm also going to be adding another clip where I showed you details of how to increase a video speed. I'm going to add it as an like a bonus to this. So watch the next video. Hi guys, so I'm going to be teaching how to create a mushroom speed effect like this one. Hi. First off, you want to open the video that you want to edit in your CapCut app. Then drag it all the way to the part where you start talking and hit split. After hitting split, click on speed and increase the speed to 23.7. Deselect the clip and hit audio. Then click on sound and search for the word whoosh. This will be the sound effect you'll be using for the first clip. After selecting the whoosh that you prefer, make sure that the sound effect only affects the first clip. Hi. After that, select the first clip and search for motion blur. Increase the blur to 100, increase the blend to 100, and apply. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. This is the second tutorial on how to sharpen and brighten your videos before uploading on YouTube or any social media platform. So a lot of you have been complaining whenever you post your videos on YouTube that it reduces quality. So I'm going to show you how to edit your videos to brighten up the video and to sharpen it. That word sharpen, you see it when I'm editing. So that whenever you upload your videos on any social media platform or you download it, it doesn't reduce quality. This, even if it reduces, because you have increased the sharpness of your video, it will still be sharp when you upload it on YouTube. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to use this video for the example. I'm going to split this video into two so that when I edit a part of it, you can see the difference at the other parts. So now we're just going to split around here, hit split. So we're going to work on this part. So what you have to do when editing your videos to make it bright is just select that particular video that you want to work on and go to adjust. Filter. Filter is very good. Just click on this clear. You can see you can reduce increase. The video is clear. But no, we're going to adjust. Now in this adjust, you can increase contrast. Can you see that? Increase, reduce contrast. Saturation. Be playing with this till you get what you want. But let me tell you the easiest way to sharpen your videos that even if you upload it, it won't reduce. And what you have to do is just go here, click on sharpen and increase. Can you see can, just that video? Increase, increase. The video is very sharp right now. When you say a video is sharp, this video is sharp right now. So if, if you download it off CapCut, right, it's going to reduce quality. If you send it to someone on WhatsApp or any other platform, it's going to reduce quality, but it will still be sharp. Now let's take a look at this video. Look at this video. And look at this one. I don't know if you're seeing the difference. Let me reduce it so you guys can see clearly. Let me reduce it. So that delete. Now look. This is sharpen. Did you see that blur? Did you see did you see how it reduced? Please look closely. From sharp, blur. Did you see that? Look at my face. Look at the face. How sharp it is. Now look how blur it is. This is the work of sharpening your videos. This is how to make your videos clear as possible. Let's go to our next tutorial. But the second tutorial is how do you flash words, emojis, or images on the video? Like when you want to add like, you want to tell people to like, subscribe, or share your video. How do you do that? Simple. We're going to use this video for the example. Simply scroll down. You see sticker. Click on sticker. You see different kinds of sticker you can use for your videos. But this for this particular one you're asking for, go to this notification sticker right here. This up one. And you can see them. You can see like, subscribe different type of stickers and you can add them to your favorites this is your favorite right here you can see these are my favorites you can see emojis here if you want to add any of these stickers to your favorite so it's be easy for you to access you don't have to be looking for them after you find something you like like this notification now i'll just hold down on it press your finger on it and it will add to favorites you can press your finger on it again and to remove just keep pressing on the sticker and to add and to remove that's how to do it so you can see how they're arranged here you can just move them with your fingers Move them to where you want to be on the screen. That's how you add. You can increase it to the maybe the end of the video, wherever you want it to reach in your videos. And that's, that's how to add all the stickers to the screen. The next one is how to add images to the screen. All you need to do is on that same video, click on overlay, add overlay, go to photos, add whatever photo you want to pop up on the screen. And there you have it. Do you want it to start from the beginning? Drag it to the beginning. 
by holding on it and dragging it do you want it to pop in midway in the video all you need to do is click on this click on animation how do you want it to pop in do you want it to fade in most of the time people like it to oh, zoom in it's very nice do you see that so it's just this is how you add images you can even reduce the size this is anyway this is how you add images to your screen do you understand so just play around with it you will see then the next one is how to add words to your screen to pop up simple tap on text write whatever you want to write this is karen this is my name click on font pick your font size you know your style uh it's loading click on that go to style let me add a background to this on background yeah so now want it to pop in what do we go to animations animation is basically how you want your videos to appear how do you want it to come in and go out of the screen do you want it typewriter can you see that do you want it to fade in i see do you want it to bounce in do you want it slide up if it's, if it's going out slide up how do you yes this is like i said the blue the blue arrow below indicates the way it's coming in the way the word is going to come in and the arrow the red arrow indicates how it's going to go out as simple as that that's all for this tutorial i hope you guys learned a lot from this video i hope you learned a lot remember to leave a comment down below on what you want to learn next we are up in our editing games before the end of 2024 and remember to click the link in my description and join my group chat i'll be dropping the latest videos there and who knows we might have a tutorial class special for you all so click on the description box hit the link join the group and i'll see you guys in my next video love you i hope you guys learned a lot from this video don't forget to subscribe like comment what you want to see next what you want to learn next share this video to a friend who needs it and come back again again and again remember throughout the month of august i'm going to be answering your request because i love you guys see you guys in my next one bye